Now, your local Storm Tracker 2 forecast. Welcome back, guys. The clock is just hitting 12:11 on our Monday morning. We are taking a look outside at a lot of the trees up at Silver Mountain that show plenty of snow on them, but it looks like still some of our area ski resorts are not exactly where they need to be in order to be open to their fullest extent, of course, because we haven't seen much snow so far this season. Uh, we'll talk about that and take a look at what we've got headed into the next uh, several days. But right now outside, we are just barely above freezing in some spots uh, in Spokane. We're still in the 20s, 29 right now in Spokane, 32 in Moses Lake and 36 in Pullman to start off the day. Uh, over the weekend, your Saturday brought uh, about a third of an inch of rain rain to us. It brought us closer to normal where we would be at about two thirds of an inch. Thus far, we have not met our normal level for rain or snow. Uh, snow so far in December would normally be just a, close to three and a half inches. So far, we have picked up on one tenth of an inch. So uh, we are very below normal, drier and warmer for uh, the late fall season. We're headed into the early portion of the winter season in just about two weeks, and uh, it looks like we're going to finally start to see some wet weather uh, kind of move our way, but temperatures still above normal. So dry but cloudy for today and tomorrow. Snow and rain move in late Tuesday into early Wednesday. More wet weather is expected. That's kind of the first wave of moisture that comes our way. So here's Future Tracker all the way through 8.30 p.m. It looks like we're staying dry. Uh, clouds are going to be kind of the name of the game for today and tomorrow, uh, especially into tomorrow morning where another round of uh, that early morning freezing fog could be apparent. Now let's run this through your Tuesday evening. That's where we start to see uh, some of the action take place. 9 p.m. Snow up toward the northern mountains south of I-90. We're picking up on exclusively rain in the middle just along I-90. It could be kind of a mix of the two. We've got a good chance for kind of a rain snow mixture, a wintry mix, as we say, uh, with some freezing rain possible. By the time we get into midnight or so, just past midnight, our chances of snow in Spokane rise dramatically. So that's our best chance for some snow in Spokane, meaning that when we wake up on Wednesday morning and head out for that morning commute, you might encounter some glaze on the roadways, whether it's in the form of freezing rain or snow itself. It could be both uh, headed into that morning commute. So it's important to take that uh, morning commute a bit slower, especially uh, if you're traveling in areas where you're seeing limited fog or limited visibility due to fog and uh, some rough roadways. Uh, high temperatures this afternoon are going to be mostly in the 30s, 36 for Spokane, 35 for Coeur d'Alene, 38 for Moscow, a couple 40s on there, 43 for Yakima, 41 for Walla Walla, and off toward Montana, 34 in Kalispell. Here's the seven day. We warm up even more headed into the rest of the week, and as I mentioned, Tuesday night into Wednesday kicks off the first wave of moisture. Then Thursday, Friday, Saturday, all have a good chance of wet weather, but it looks like headed into to your Thursday itself. We're going to be seeing those afternoon high temperatures rise to about the 40s, which means more likely rain rather than snow. Uh, so still kind of continuing with the trend of uh, valley rain and still some mountain snow expected. Laura.